also add to your faith. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 5 In the matter of drudgery Peter said in this passage that we have become partakers of the divine nature and that we should now be giving all diligence concentrating on forming godly habits we are to add to our lives all that character means no one is born either naturally or supernaturally with character it must be developed nor are we born with habits we have to form godly habits on the basis of the new life God has placed within us we are not meant to be seen as God's perfect bright shining examples but to be seen as the everyday essence of ordinary life exhibiting the miracle of his grace drudgery is the test of genuine character the greatest hindrance in our spiritual life is that we will only look for big things to do yet jesus took a towel and began to wash the disciples feet john chapter 13 verse 3 to 5 we all have those times when there are no flashes of light and no apparent thrill to life where we experience nothing but the daily routine with its common everyday tasks the routine of life is actually god's way of saving us between our times of great inspiration which come from him don't always expect God to give you his thrilling moments, but learn to live in those common times of the drudgery of life by the power of God. It is difficult for us to do the adding that Peter mentioned here. We say, we do not expect God to take us to heaven on flowery beds of ease. And yet, we act as if we do. I must realize that my obedience, even in the smallest detail of life, has all of the omnipotent power of the grace of God behind it if i will do my duty not for duty's sake but because i believe god is engineering my circumstances then at the very point of my obedience all of the magnificent grace of god is mine through the glorious atonement by the cross of Christ.